as I discussed with Paul Manafort, Trump's comments about North Carolina's new law restricting uh, bathrooms, in, in the case of transgender people, uh, created quite a backlash, and Ted Cruz saw an opening. Here he is. He thought that men should be able to go into the girls' bathroom if they want to. Have we gone stark raving nuts? Ben, is this issue, which obviously Cruz sees as an opening, is this a good issue for Republicans in the primaries, and is it a good issue for Republicans in the general election? Well, first off, within the context of the discussion about bathrooms, keep in mind there are fewer transgender people in, in America, according to the best estimates that we have, than there are registered sex offenders. And in this case, I think that's actually the thing that people are concerned about. They're less concerned about transgender people coming into bathrooms than they are men uh, using this as a way to get into locker rooms with women uh, and to exploit that opportunity to uh, participate in some kind of criminal act. I think that's something that is a concern among a lot of Americans. The polls generally show that favoring, you know, sort of the, uh, these types of policies has actually increased since this debate has started. On the, on the side of, of Trump, I think that this is just part of the piece of, of what we've seen in the past. You know, a month ago, after he ran the table in Florida, in Missouri, in, in uh, Illinois, and in North Carolina, there was this, all this talk about he's going to shift to being more presidential, uh, and instead he embarked on a series of gaffes and own goals that undermine his own ability to uh, to coalesce and to unite the party. What we've seen over the past uh, weeks since he won in New York is again, you know, reverting to these personalized attacks, calling for weakening the pro-life plank of the party, uh, getting to the left of Hillary Clinton on transgender issues, uh, you know, coming out in favor of raising taxes, insulting his opponents' names, and coming out again just the other day and suggesting, in spite of all of the legal decisions that have uh, gone against it, that Ted Cruz is not going to be a qualified candidate for the presidency because he's not a naturalized citizen. This is not someone who is interested in United the Party, and if it's so easy to be presidential, why doesn't he try it for five minutes? <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, that was pretty tough. Right. I, I want to go back, though, to this issue uh, of, of the bathrooms and whether it's a good issue, because we actually decided to, to try to find out whether it is a public safety issue, whether it is a problem with transgender people misusing bathrooms to prey on others. And here's what the fact-checking group PolitiFact found. We, that's the PolitiFact, haven't found any instance of criminals convicted of using transgender protections as cover in the United States. Neither have any left-wing groups or right-wing groups, which brings me to Charles Krauthammer's comment, which I was quoting to, uh, uh, to Paul Manafort earlier, which is, this seems to be a solution in search of a problem. Well, I think that's right, because, in fact, one of the police chiefs in North Carolina said that he'd been in the police force 40 years, he'd never dealt with this issue. So he said, you know, it was as if people are creating a problem in search of a solution. I think what we come back to is a wedge issue here, a wedge issue that in terms of gay rights, gay marriage, as you know, has been controversial, but that wedge issue, it worked in 04. If you recall, the Bush campaign got gay marriage on the ballot, right. helped President Bush uh, gain re-election in 04. This time, that issue in terms of the polling just has, doesn't have the same power, the same strength on the electorate. And when you look at the reality of it, people say, well, gosh, you know, uh, <laughs> at home, I use the same bathroom as my wife. In college, they have same-sex bathrooms. This does not seem to be a crying issue. But even in terms of the evangelical community, the power of the true concerns, which is what I think Cruz is trying to do by countering Trump on this issue, it just doesn't seem to carry the day. It does not seem to have the power, Chris.